<gasps> no! Oh. Watch your Tasty Tuesday show. It's Tuesday show. I miss it with Tasty. Sometimes it works. Okay, so you know how cauliflower thinks it can be anything? Well, we are gonna test another cauliflower trying to be something dish today. Thanksgiving is coming up. I saw some cauliflower stuffing at Trader Joe's. Yes, I bought it. Not because it looked delicious, but because I'm so damn curious about what cauliflower thinks that stuffing tastes like. So I bought it. But today we're gonna make some cauliflower mashed potatoes. Well, it's not mashed potatoes. It's cauliflower. It's mashed cauliflower. Today we're gonna make some mashed cauliflower, which is supposed to be a substitute for mashed potatoes. You know, the dish that all of us already love very much. I don't know how well a cauliflower will do substituting this dish. However, a lot of friends that I have, well, let's be honest, I don't have a lot of friends, but some of the friends that I do have have said that the mashed cauliflower tastes better than mashed potatoes, which I don't believe, because so far I have not had a cauliflower substitute dish that tastes better than the dish it's trying to substitute. But I will give it benefit of the doubt we will try it. We will test it honestly today. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're gonna take a pot that's big enough to boil one head of cauliflower in. Boom. Oh, well, don't leave it there. We're gonna fill it with water. So far, it's starting out just like mashed potatoes. Killing it. Step two, we're gonna boil the water. Did you guess that? I'll see when this is boiled. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Because head of cauliflower. Okay, our water is boiling. So you're gonna take our cauliflower florets and put them into our boiling water. Wow, just like mashed potatoes. I will say these cauliflower uh, florets only need seven to 10 minutes to boil, unlike potatoes, which need like 30 minutes. So I like this part. You are a time saver, saving lots of time and being real healthy. That's all you get from me for now, for now. We're not friends yet. Anyway, while that's happening, we're gonna grab a medium pan, medium saucepan. We're gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in there. Ooh, we're not measuring, we're bad. <laughs> and we're gonna heat this over medium heat. Oh yes. To our olive oil, we're, uh, olive oil, yep. We're gonna add three garlic cloves minced or four or five or six, however much garlic you want. Maybe you like a lot of garlic. Maybe you're a good person, I don't know. Oh. Come on, I hate this. I hate that. This is the worst garlic presser thingy ever. What brand are you even? I wanna smear you. One garlic clove. Oh, that's much better. Also to this, we are going to add one entire leek that has been trimmed and chopped finely. This is my first time ever working with a leek. I did not know, it's kind of like an onion. It made me cry. I'm always attracted to the bad boys. Yes, you are, a bad boy. What kind of day are we having? So we're gonna saute this leek and garlic for about three to four minutes until the leek is kind of soft. A little baby softy boy. Don't act like you don't flirt with your food. I see you. And I will see you again in like three or four minutes. Okay, our cauliflower is done boiling, I hope. Let me see, wait, I didn't check. I just started the camera, I didn't even check. Hold on, wait, what do I check this with? Yes, okay, it's probably more than done. So I didn't ruin it. We're gonna drain them in our drainer thing. Or Steve likes to call it the spaghetti thing. Yay! Next, we're gonna take them and put them into a large food processor. I have one right here. Did you guess that was gonna happen? Cool, good for you. To our food processor, we are going to add cauliflowers. I already said that, so hopefully you're listening before. <gasps> no! Oh, you saw nothing. Shh. What? Nothing happened? We're all good. Everybody's good. Everyone's happy. Cool. Also, we are gonna add our sauteed leeks and garlic. Mm. So no, that was gonna happen? I guess the news must have leaked. Okay, very cool. Also to our food processor, we're going to add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. I'm guessing that this will give it like a cheesy kind of flavor. That's usually what nutritional yeast kind of does. One tablespoon of butter or earth balance. Half a cup of unsweetened almond milk or whatever milk you want. I'm using almond milk. Is it half a cup? No, this is a whole cup. A cup, please. Also, two tablespoons of chopped chives, fresh chopped chives. Finely chopped, man, I can't get this sentence out. Two tablespoons of finely fresh chopped chives, never mind, you, fuck it. You do whatever you want. And one teaspoon of fresh chopped thyme. Yes, all the time. Half a teaspoon of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Fresh ground pepper, woo! Sometimes your kitchen's really boring and you gotta pretend like you're having a party. Hey, life's too short to not have fun just cause you're alone in your kitchen. Woo! Now blend this. Or food process it, process it. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna process this until it's very smooth and creamy, delicious. Sexy. How else can we have 
have a relationship with our feet. Oh yeah, so smooth, so crazy. I'm just gonna do the thing where you push down the sides a little bit because it's like all chunky on the sides and you're like, yo, that's not supposed to be that consistency. Can we just get it together? Thanks. You know? Wow, all right. Cause so it's out of the place now where it looks and smells a lot like mashed potatoes. Does it taste like mashed potatoes? I don't know. Is it even trying to taste like mashed potatoes? I don't know because the recipe says mashed cauliflower. Maybe it's its own thing, okay? Maybe we don't have to compare the two. In any case, I'm gonna compare the two and let you know which one I like better and if this tastes like mashed potatoes. Wow, I think we're done also. This was super short, super easy. I hope this does taste better than mashed potatoes because this is a lot more fun to make. So here we go. Hopefully we'll have a happy holidays. <laughs> Holiday. Jiggity check, oh sorry. Jiggity check this out. Wait, the shadows, come on, look at it. This looks like, this looks like mashed potatoes. Wait, let me spoon it out then I can show you better. Okay, now look it. Whoa, wow. Look, it's like very much the consistency of mashed potatoes. Cool, let's see what it tastes like. Hello, happy Thanksgiving Hi. with the Christmas happy tree behind you. Whoa, it smells wow. bomb. Yeah, do you know what this is? Is this your mashed potatoes? It is not my mashed potatoes. <laughs> it sure looks like. It looks I like need my... this cough for a long time. I know, time. Yeah, because right. you don't go to the doctor. Yep. That's your problem. Steve has been sick for a week and a half, and I got sick one day, went to the doctor, and I'm completely fine. Yeah, but at least my <laughs> immune system's fighting it. Also. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> at least my immune system's fighting it. Fighting it. <clears throat> fighting it on. Fighting it on its own. <laughs> no, you. you right, know what? I got a bubble in my throat. Eat. So. Mister. What is this? So it looks and smells like mashed potatoes, yes? Yeah, of course. All right, let's take a bite. I want to know your honest reaction. You don't like it? No. <laughs> it's mashed cauliflower. It tastes like onion oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> wait, let me try it. Okay. Okay, wait. <laughs> Your face. Okay. Okay, first of all. Right? I'm pretty fair. Yeah. Okay, yeah. first of all. Let's hear it. I really like the consistency and flavor. But I will say that I think the onions should have been chopped even finer. They weren't onions, by the way. They were leeks. I've yeah. never used a leek before, so I didn't know how to chop them. I see. I have no idea how to chop them. But I really like this flavor. Like, I think this is the best cauliflower trying to be something dish. No. No, no, no. I like the buffalo Buffalo. Ones. Yeah, the buffalo was better. Oh, my God. God. But no, but this is the second best. I don't it's know. Like first, and then it's like second is like a down here, like a distant second. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how to feel about this, man. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. It is definitely, uh, if you're on a heavy mm -hmm. diet, if you're really sure. dieting hard, and you cannot eat those mashed potatoes Qualified. for Thanksgiving, <laughs> it's a good substitute. Yeah. Ish. Come on, tell me it's onion oatmeal. Come on, tell me I'm wrong. That's pretty fair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm, I'm killing my husband. <coughs> it was worth the laugh. It was worth the laugh. Jesus, why don't you go to a doctor? Maybe I will tomorrow. Crazy. I literally one day felt symptoms. I went to the doctor. He's like, yeah, you have a sinus infection. <coughs> gave me two shots in my ass, and then I was good. I wish I could give you two shots in your ass, and then you'd be good. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I wish you would give me a shot anywhere, to be, frankly, to be honest. <laughs> All right, a Tasty Tuesday man has to take a rest. No, I'm fine. But um, <clears throat> happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I know it's coming up. We do have a sticky show on Thanksgiving if you want to watch it. It's a Thanksgiving <coughs> themed video. Also, is this tasty? Would you say it's tasty? No. I think the flavor is good. Steve says no, it's not tasty. Yeah, the consistency is just, just a little watery. Maybe if it was less liquidy. It's like onion cream of wheat, but mm -hmm. <laughs> like damn. That's very accurate. Yeah, yeah, it really is like that. Alrighty, <clears throat> well, uh, make this or don't. Happy Thanksgiving! Go buy a pumpkin pie. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. We'll see you next time, bye. <laughs>